Having set up our database and sorted out all the fields for our database, it's now actually time that uh, we looked at how our database is searched. So I've still got exactly the same data here um, going all the way down. So again, remember when we talked about how to see the number of uh, fields that you've got, you can go all the way down to the bottom of your database. Uh, uh, sorry, the number of records you've got, you can go all the way down to the bottom of your database. So let's just see whether we can see that just coming into view. So we've got 492 records and if you're clicked on one, it shows you which one you're clicked on. And fields are the columns going across. So if you're asked how many fields there are, you count how many columns there are going across. And obviously the other way of finding out how many fields you've got is to go to design view and count down all of the fields that you've got here. So that will tell you how many fields uh, you've got in your database. Anyway, back to searching. So we've set up our data, we've got lots of records and we need to be able to extract information out of it. So the three examples I'm going to work through are these. Uh, find museums in Bath so we can ring them. Uh, so everything that's written in this um, uh, statement is important um, because uh, we'll see how we can extract information which is just to do with ringing museums in Bath. So let's get up our database and see how we go about doing a search. Obviously you could look through this data and find location down here and scroll down and find all the bath ones and add them up and that would just be really tedious and then once you've added all of those up find out the ones which were uh, museums so under type they would have to be um, mg for museums and i know that because when i co go to the design and i look at type it tells me here that museum gallery exhibition or science stuff um, is is uh, has got a category of MG. Okay, so that's not a very good way of doing it. So obviously the whole point of using a database is so you can do searches. So we're going to get the database to do a search for us. And the way we do that is we click on create up here. So I've clicked on create up there. And then what we get is uh, on our ribbon bar, the button that I'd like you to use or the option to use is this query design one. You could use the query wizard one, but the query design one will teach you enough to be able to make use of query wizards if you so want to. Okay, so here it gives us an option saying show table. Sometimes in your database you have more than one table and then you decide which table has the data that you're trying to search for or which tables have the data you want to search for. But in our case, we only have the one table, so it's destinations. So we add that and then what happens is when we move this over, it doesn't look like some, anything's happened, but underneath we've got this destination. Sometimes what happens is people don't know what's going on and they keep clicking add and then they see it here and then say, oh, okay, I've done it now. So then click on close. But then what happens is you get three tables appearing in this view. And obviously if you get that, you click on them and press the delete key on your keyboard so we only want one of these uh, table views appearing for us. So I'm just going to uh, show that a bit like this um, so that we can uh, see it. So let's uh, have a look now. I'm just going to move the screen up so we just concentrate on the bit that we're going to be using. So remember, we're trying to find, so let's just remind ourselves, museums in Bath. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So back to my database. So what I'm looking for is obviously I want the name of the venue to turn up. Otherwise, I'm not going to know what it is. And I'd like the type to turn up because the type is where I find out where the museums. I'd like the location because that will then I can choose Bath from there. Um, obviously, if I'm not if I'm not quite sure whether I'm getting the right data, I'll just run this as it is, and then we'll add some more fields to it. Um, so we need to be able to ring them, 
uh, it says, and that's why it's important to read all of this. Museums in Bath, so we can ring them. So I need to ring them. So I also need to have the phone number. And again, the way I'm doing this is I'm double clicking and it appears here. As always with uh, things like this that you use, there is always more than one way of getting uh, fields to appear. And if that's, if that's uh, not giving you all of the fields, uh, if you don't like double clicking, then obviously you can click here and you can drop down a list and then you can select what type of field you want and that will also appear. And again, if you want to get rid of any, any you just highlight them, press the delete key and they go away. So there's always more than one way of adding your fields. So it's very important to decide what fields you're going to use. Okay, now I've put all my fields along the bottom. I haven't chosen all of them because I don't actually need all of them. So then what I need to do is focus on my search and look at the criteria um, line, which is just this one under the all the ticks going along the top. So just my crit criteria line because what I'm looking for is museums in Bath. Now having looked at the data, what I know is that I need to have MG will find my museums and in location I need to find everything which has the word Bath because that will find me museums in Bath. Now as always there is more than one way to actually run this query it's called running it which which means carry out this search so I could click on the run button or I can just click on the table view it doesn't really matter or you can use probably some shortcut key but if I click on run there is only one museum in Bath that it's found and at the bottom here I can see that it's found record one of one and there's the phone number appearing so that I can ring it. Now, if you find that you made a mistake, you just go back to the design view if it doesn't show anything. So for example, if you'd made a mistake here and typed in MN, for example, and then run the query and nothing appears, it's all blank because there is no MN, then you just go back to your um, design view and type in the correct uh, thing that you're searching for and then run this query. So that's that's the very first one done and again I'm going to just save the the actual query so let's just find out so I've just clicked on the save button so instead of calling it query one which is what people often do I'm just going to call this um, this is number one obviously but what I've done here is bath um, and museums all right because later on if I need to go back to this then I've got a meaningful name so I say okay to that and you think well where's it gone so to find your query what we need to do is drop down the arrow next to table and what you'll normally have is this thing here which says filter by group and at the moment it's only showing us the tables if we just select all access objects, then everything we've created will appear here. So that's our table, and these are our queries. So our table is still here, and if we want to, we can see our query uh, here. And when we've double-clicked on the query, we can always go back to the design view to change it, and we're back to our table. So that's how to, how to um, navigate between and carry out simple search. In the next one, I'll show you how to do the next two searches just so you get used to it. And then I'm going to give you 10 questions to actually do.